Hello again, this is ADAC, and we're going to talk today about <coughs> how the elevator, which is this structure right here in the back of the horizontal stabilizer, which is this entire section of the tail, horizontal section, controls the pitch of the aircraft, and whether you climb or dive. Okay? And in a neutral position, which it's in now, uh, the elevator is flush with the rest of the horizontal stabilizer, and the plane will neither uh, climb or dive. It'll just remain in level flight. Um, however, if you pull the stick back, let me do that, watch what happens to the elevator. It goes up into the airstream, and that will impart a downward force, force on the tail section of the airplane, so it will go down, and the nose will rise. Um, this is a little bit like what happened with ailerons during the bank. Um, and that will initiate a climb. Uh, now if we return to the neutral position uh, for level flight, and now I push the stick all the way forward, the elevator drops. And now the uh, ongoing wind strikes that lowered uh, elevator and forces the tail up, and the nose will go down. And that's how you initiate a dot. Uh, let's talk about the rudder as well. Uh, the rudder is used to control yaw, uh, to make the nose go left or right. And unfortunately, uh, when we show it here, it's going to swing the airplane, but I don't care. So there is left rudder. I press the left rudder airplane, uh, I'm sorry, the left rudder pedal in the airplane. And uh, if we were flying in the air, the wind would strike that left rudder and push the tail to the right, and the nose would come left, counteracting it. So that would initiate a left yaw movement. And if we now go back to neutral, uh, the airplane will not experience a left or right force from the rudder, so it will continue to fly in a straight line, unless we're banking, of course. Now, if we go with right rudder, what happens? Well, now the wind strikes the tail with the uh, rudder deflected to the right side. And that will push the tail to the left, and the nose will swing right. So uh, right rudder will give you right yaw. You know, yaw axis. Okay? And on the ground, of course, this is used to steer the airplane, which is what's happening now. But left rudder is, watch the nose now, with the gun sight, is yaw left, and right rudder is yaw right. And so when you're trying to fly through the hangar, and you're a little bit left of center, you can just go click, click, and be able to adjust with rudder corrections uh, your positioning in the hangar without actually having to do a banking maneuver, which takes too long. Likewise, if you're uh, trying to line up a target, you can use the rudder to control the gun sight position left and right, as we discussed earlier. So that's the elevator, which controls the um, pitch of the airplane up and down, climbing and diving, and the rudder, which controls the yaw of the airplane, the nose swinging left or right. And that concludes the uh, lessons on uh, the three-axis control, the pitch uh, for uh, climbing and diving, bank for turning left, right, and yaw for swinging the nose left and right. Okay, that's it. We've got some other lessons and other flight theory issues which you might want to look at. This is ADAC. Have a good one. Talk to you soon.